Are you eating poop? Welcome back to Great Case. All right, so on today's episode, we're going to be talking about tree stands. Basically, a beginner's guide to hunting from a tree stand. Your basic knowledge of how to hunt a tree stand, things to avoid, things you should know before hunting a tree stand. Because as you know, there are different methods of hunting. Obviously, you can hunt from the ground. Um, you can do a spot stall. I wouldn't really recommend that. Um, you can do. He's a big boy, he needs his protein. Alright, so, as you know, there are... <laughs> there are different methods to hunting. So obviously you can hunt from the ground. Um, there's, there's blinds that you can brush in. There's redneck blinds, which are basically just like small little Homes. <laughs> yeah, small homes. You, you can literally do whatever you want in there. And it's funny because it only costs 30 months of a mortgage payment. Yeah, you pretty much have to take on a loan. You have to scare them to fall. I just push you down. <laughs> just broke it. Um, but the most popular method of hunting would probably be the tree stand. Any, any hunter can probably tell you that. It's probably the most cost effective. In my opinion, I've had the best luck with it. One of the pros for hunting a tree stand would be your field of vision and your field of view. When you're in a tree uh, versus like a blind where you just have like little windows, if you can look around you, you can pretty much see, depending on the tree that you have, 360 degrees. And that is invaluable. Number two would probably be your elevation. So that elevation that you get from hunting a tree stand is actually really important because deer oftentimes when they're looking for predators or when they're looking for danger, they don't normally look up. There's not too many predators that come from the trees in Ohio at least. I mean, who, who knows about bobcats and bears or whatever. but. You'll you'll definitely get deer that look right right up at you because they're smart. But yeah. um, so their eyes are on the side of their head. So imagine if your eyes were on your cheeks or your dimples, you freaking look like a weirdo. First of all, um, can you imagine? I got my eye on you. But they see in uh, bands, so they can only see so far. So that's why you'll see them scanning. They'll be looking, and then, and then they'll, they'll bring their head you, down and look up because they're trying to find you. Um, and their vision, their field of vision basically. So speaking of elevation, whenever you're hunting a tree stand, mm -hmm. uh, they typically, you can buy them at what, like 18 to 25, like that's your range as far as like what you can actually buy, like a ladder stand. I have not seen any anything more than 20, and 20 is a false advertisement, because <laughs> it is, yeah. like you, you, you're you typically only about 17, 18 mm -hmm. foot maybe. But as far as like that buffer of like com comfortability, You'll want to your, your your feet want to be around 20. 20, which is the one thing that's negative about ladder stands. You buy it, that's it. You can't like it is how tall it is. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> I was pushing so hard on the fart out that I ended up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro, it smells like grilled cheese and rotten eggs. It smells like beef jerky. Smells like the no, man. It smells like 23 flavors of. Dang your baby! So, anyways, you can buy a ladder stand, which already comes pre packaged. The pro to that is that it's already pre packaged, you don't have to buy anything else. And the cons of that is that it's it can only be a certain height. And maybe for like the area that you want to hunt, it needs to be a little higher. Unfortunately, a ladder stand won't be able to provide that to you. There's another way, which is basically. Um, you can buy these little sticks that you can put into the tree and then you can drill them in and then you can put as many as you want, climb as high or as low as you really need and they're pretty cheap too, but they're a little bit hard to put in. The third way um, that I can think of off the top of my head is basically sticks, which is basically, I would say, our main method of hanging tree stands, which is um, you basically buy per what, like five, five feet? Five. So essentially you're buying the platform and then you're buying it your method of climbing the tree. I can get a hang on tree stand and sticks in about 80 to 90 bucks. A lot of just single ladder tree stands are gonna um, run you about 
130 to 140. When you're in a tree stand, you have a little bit of a better ability to hear from further away. I would say you're a little bit more in tune with the nature since there's nothing, there's no barrier in between you and the nature. Uh, you tend to just hear things like further away. Yeah, there. I mean, there there are times when when we're hunting together, and I'm like, I think I hear something, and they're like a hundred yards away. Like, that's just something that I don't really think you can get when you're in, you know, a blind because there tends to be, you know, like a wind brace or like some sort of wind barriers. Mm -hmm. You're not in the elements, um, but when you are in the elements, you tend to know that deer's coming just a little bit sooner. And for me, that's all the advantage I need uh, to make and take that shot. As far as cons, um, obviously you have the risk of falling out of a tree stand. Four years in. Ah, that has never happened to me. Well, well, either of us. Yeah, okay. You know what, I'll just kind of let that go. You're going to be a lot if more dangerous. If you're shooting up close, they can't see you. <laughs> I was saying. So, yeah, guys, I was just, I was just going to say that probably, um, ooh. Ooh, yes, my yes, queen, creek queen. My you're gonna have a lot more danger as far as chances of falling out, getting you're attacked by a grizzly bear, um, getting attacked by an owl, ball, you remember that time? Vampires. Vampire, dude, theoretically. But you have no idea how terrified I was when I was hunting and I saw freaking Edward from Twilight running across the freaking woods, dude. Well, I literally almost pooped my pants. Mm -hmm. So yeah, obviously with hunting a tree stand, you're gonna wanna have a harness. Not everyone does that. Um, I think it's just a good insurance to have if you fall asleep, because if you've hunted a tree stand before you fall asleep, in it, that's just, I think every hunter is probably. I never have, but yeah, I've heard most of I that. literally recorded you falling asleep the other day. <laughs> Anyways. But basically, you're gonna be a lot more exposed to elements as far as rain, snow, cold. Every like, time we ever hunt together, this man is cold. It could be freaking September 29th, opening day. This, it's 84 degrees and this dude is like shivering with freaking boot Bro, warmers on. Look this at dude. my bony fingers, dude. I just I don't have bony fingers too. I don't get cold. Mine are bonier. Really? He was shaking so bad the tree was moving. I was shaking because I was so excited. Yeah. There's a giant two point buck across the way. Dude, I'm wearing Walmart camo. What does she want from me? He was like legit shaking so bad that the tree was moving. As far as dude. the wind's gonna just be blowing. <laughs> dude. Blowing over where you they're gonna come. Stinkered, <laughs> real good. Oh, well, you're just gonna. <laughs> you could literally bottle it up and ship it to a third world country, and they would launch a nuke over to us. Anyway, um, so yeah, your movement limitations. You need to be cautious of that because if you're in the stand, they can see you if you move. Like you're not invisible because you're high. You're not invisible because you're elevated. A lot of what plays into hunting from a stand is the fact that you can't move that much. Because if, if you move at all, like, if you have a bow on your bow hanger and it's too late, that buck is already within 10, 10 yards and he's just kind of cruising around and he might be alerted, he might have caught your ground scent and he's looking. Can't get that shot off unless he walks away. Like, the thing is, what I usually do in that scenario is I jump off, I always carry a buck in my hand. So, um, and just... I just jump. When you jump off, do you like try to you like try to saddle it? Yeah, I try to saddle it like a horse, and I grab his antlers at first just to feel the mass because I get kind of rough swarm on the while I'm on his Meanwhile, back. Meanwhile, that's why you have like a padded crotch, so that when you jump out <laughs> that's of the, the stand, about Sitka. and you land on it, mm -hmm. you know, obviously, yeah, it's 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 gonna be screaming, but it's not gonna hurt so bad. <laughs> Another thing that you got to think about when you're doing a tree stand is you got to find the right tree. The tree has got to be mostly straight. We want the straight ones. It's hard to find good straight trees like that that have good backdrop cover and good stuff basically to break up your silhouette. What is it? It smells like, oh my god, it's such a big deer. Come here, come here. I've seen your deer. I know, but some angles. Look at this. Show them. Does it look big? Or does it move? That's pretty big. I've seen your deer like a hundred. I know, but they haven't. They've only seen like 20. Do you want this cup here or not? Except poop.
are you eating poop? <laughs> Don't eat poop. Hey! Stay tuned, we're pushing out content, we're doing everything can. It's a slow, so I'm the only one hunting, he's already tagged out in Ohio. So, I mean, I can slock a doe. I can slock a big doe, it wouldn't go 20. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you've honestly, if you've gotten this far, then it means that you're a real true fan. We appreciate it. Merch to come in the future, maybe, but we do want to say that there's a 100 subscriber giveaway where you get a this chance to win this for free. We'll send it to your address. Let us know, but you gotta, you gotta be in the first 100 subscribers. And share, share, it to one, share it to one person. Okay, check out, check out this outdoor channel with these guys that are funny. Share it to one person or I'll find you and I'll, I'll find your address. And I will send you a strongly written letter of disapproval um a creaking's out Ooh, that look good blue that look good white too <laughs> peace creaking's out peace guys <laughs> good one <laughs>